Hi, I'm Robert May from HyperMX, and we're at Pocket Gamer Connect in San Francisco. And sitting with me is Val from Magmic. Hey. Val, tell us a bit about yourself and your role at Magmic. OK, so I come from the CPA background, so cost per action, which is mostly desktop. And now I kind of transitioned into the mobile with Magmic. I'm director of advertisement there, or ad monetization. So what I do is I liaise with, I guess, different network partners and different clients, like HyperMX. Bungle, Tapjoy, and uh, I also take care of the rollout of new ad units. So I, I can imagine that you work with a number of different ad network partners. What's your strategy for managing different ad network partners to ensure that you're maximizing your ad revenue? Okay. Well, first of all, every ad network partner I find kind of falls somewhere in the waterfall. You just really need to find a sweet spot for them. So you, kind of, you have to talk to a lot of your contacts there and figure out how you can get the best business between each of them going. So the way we have our waterfall set up is we obviously have the top partner up top and we try to set a fixed floor with them. And if they, I guess, accept, we can, I guess, trouble down like that. So everybody wants the best sale and the best floor at the best price. We just have to figure out where everybody is in those zones. So Magmic works with some huge brands like Hasbro. So what's it like managing uh, ad revenue for a, a client like Hasbro as opposed to managing the ad revenue for your own original IP? We have one of our licenses, which is categories. So within categories, we manage the ad revenue for that. And uh, you just have to be diligent. You have to be careful. You have to make sure that there's no ads that they won't approve of, anything gambling, alcohol, or sex-related, drugs-related. You just have to kind of make sure to keep it clean. What advice do you have for a game developer who's just getting started with ad monetization? Okay, well, first of all, I'd say shop around for a mediation partner, somebody that suits your needs. Some of them are a lot more hands-on, some of them are a little more hands-off, and you have to find, I guess, the type of uh, partner that will fit your time schedule or time that you can allocate to them. If you could wave a magic wand and just eliminate some kind of nagging issue with ad monetization, like what, what would that thing be that you just wave away with the magic wand? Well, there's not that many nagging issues, but uh, the biggest one I think, like everybody knows, would be reporting ease of reporting because we work with so many partners that the way we did it before is we would pull I guess the numbers from every single ad network in order to aggregate them and all into one spreadsheet but uh, recently we've been working with a new partner and uh, they do it for us so we have like a nice unified dashboard where I can pivot my own data I could see who's doing well I could see what who's doing at what CPM instead of having to go pull it myself so that makes things a lot lot easier. Val thanks so much for joining us today. Well, thank you so much Robert.